Oh, that's right. That's so hard. I'm moving that laser because I'm not a stripper. Fuck that. <laughs> the kids who were here have been left because I'm not. I can't. There's no way. My act's done. I'm not working on it anymore. I'm lazy, so just deal with it. I'm um, here, everybody. I'm stand up comedian. My name is Wong Tony How are you doing? Yeah. Awesome. Glad you're here. I'm doing okay. Um, but to be honest, I'm getting old. I'm getting a little old. Um, it's not just a feeling. I have empirical evidence of this. Uh, just the other day, uh, I sneezed. It was some dust. I, I sneezed. And a little blood just shot out my dick. Just, just a little blood. Just right out, right out of my dickhead. There, there it went. Right out of the dick. And that is not normal for me. That is not part of the course. I did not go through life this way. I did not go to middle school for the first day. You know, and saddle up the history class. And then it's hay fever and it's shoo. And then I look like a little perverted stigmata. I waddle home bleeding. My dad says, Bubby, why didn't you get circumcised by now? This wouldn't have happened. My dad's not Jewish. I don't know why I went there. But what I'm saying is, this isn't something I had to live with. This is a new thing. And, and to be honest, um, I tend to think that, you know, I'm pessimistic. I don't think it's going anywhere. You know? I mean, I talk to a lot of people. I've been to a lot of places. I go to a lot of bars. I'll meet that one guy who drank a little bit too much. He overshares. Starts telling his whole life story. Hey, you know, I've been through trials and tribulations, you know, for a couple of years, my dick bled. But, you know, I started taking some B12. I started a spin class. Things got better. I never heard that. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure what happens is you just get this, and then you just, you keep it to yourself because you're too ashamed, and you die. And there's no cure. So that's a bummer. Uh, what else? What else has been in the news? What's going on? Government shutdown. That happened. That was a thing, right? I know, I know, I know, I know, Republicans are, uh, Democrats are, but, but let's unpack this, this is important, politics matter. So, what's going on with the government shutdown, okay, so, the Republicans, they don't like Obamacare, so they're going to shut the whole government down and be like, fuck you, Obama. So, for the sake of argument, just for the sake of explanation, I'll be the American taxpayer, I am the American taxpayer, and I'm, I'm bent over, I'm like this, okay, so I'm the American taxpayer, what's going on, what's going on out there, okay, and here comes a government shutdown from the sky in the form of... A giant black dildo. Here it comes. It's coming up the evening. This giant black. It's in right from the butt. It's in right. What's gonna happen? No, somebody help. Here come the Republicans. Oh, thank God, somebody's gonna help. Oh no, they grab my wrists. They grab my. They're holding each other. Saying, "Shut up. It's good for you. You understand when you're older." And I'm saying, "Daddy, no." And he's like, "What?" He's not my daddy, but but I had some psychological problems for the sake of the story. It's my, it reminded me of my childhood. But I'm like, "Daddy," he's like, "What?" Because he's not my daddy. And then it's the Democrats, and they're coming, and I'm like, "Hey, Dad, you're gonna help, right? He's got my rip. But the Democrats kind of wanted to happen because that'll help them during the midterms. So they're kind of like. Oh, I don't even know. I'm gonna help, I swear, okay. I know, I know. I'll crazy glue your butt cheeks together. <laughs> oh no, it's KY Jelly! I thought it said crazy. It says KY. And I'm like, no! And he's like, hey, hey. And they're like, hey, hey. And I'm like, ah! 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 And that's how politics works. <laughs> <laughs> At that age, everyone's telling me, you know, why do kids? Juan, have some kids. You know, I, I don't want it. I'm sorry, I know. I, I don't wish to be progenitated. It's not, it's not in the cards for me. Now, if you want to do it, you do it. Just for me. I'm not preaching. Just for me. You know, when you hear the dumbest arguments, people will say, well, you would have beautiful kids. Have kids. Your kids would be beautiful. Well, that's, that's not a, that, that, that's, there's no logic. That would not stand up in court. I cannot be before a judge. Oh, uh, son, I'm reading the document here. It says that, uh, you uh, were hiding in a bush, you uh, sprang from said bush onto a young lady and forced your intentions upon her. Is that correct? Yes, yes, Your Honor, that's, that's correct. Uh huh. That's the girl, girl right over there you did it to? That, that, that's the girl, yes, Your Honor. Uh huh. Well, I mean, are you serious? Your hair, her eyes. That's a great idea. You're going to have beautiful kids. I, that's what I told her, Your Honor, but this selfish bitch was like, I don't want it. I'm like, no, our kids will be. Now, see, it's a terrible argument. It's a bad argument. <laughs> don't go there. You know, I think, or also, here I'll say, well, how do you know? How do you know you don't want a kid? Have a kid, maybe you want a kid. How do you know? That, that's also no logic. In, what are you trying to say? What are you really trying to say? So if I have the kid, right, I make a woman with child and she 
poops out the kid, and we have the kid now, I can be like, Doctor, I've been looking at it for like an hour, and uh, you know, I started thinking about this whole thing. Uh, I think I should probably just go to therapy instead of trying to work out my problems through a little version of myself. That's what I just decided. Yeah. And I also thought it was pretty good to kind of like make a mini version of myself to boss around and torture. I'm gonna go castrate myself with an oyster fork. Is that okay? God bless. God bless. Namaste. I'm out of here. Um, just kidding. I'm an atheist. <laughs> There's no God. <laughs> no, but really, I'm not an asshole though. I'm not an asshole. Buddy. If you believe in God, that's fine. That's your right. You know, I think religion can be beautiful and transcendent. You know, and sometimes it's a really good thing. <coughs> yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you're insane and stupid if you're religious. Just sometimes, though. You know, like take, take evangelical Christians. Okay, right now there are there are girls out there. There are girls, high school age girls, high school you know teenage girls in high school who are having anal sex. Why are they up to that? What's with the booty sex? Because they believe that by having anal sex as opposed to vaginal sex, they will keep their virginity, as the Bible instructs. What is up with... I never heard that in Bible school, did you? I might have stuck around a little bit. All there was forgive and prostrate and you're a scum and ask for forgiveness, you're born sick, we'll make you well. I never heard there's compulsory anal sex you just wait around for a little while. I might have joined up if I'd have heard that. Did you ever hear that? That was news to me. You know, sex is weird. You gotta be careful. You know, everyone's trying to have sex. I remember one time I was having sex, this is many moons ago. I was with this, uh, this sad mill. She was a sad mill. She was cheating on her husband, I knew. There was a tan line where her ring finger was. It was very sad. But I was still going to have sex with her. I was going to, I did not. So here's what happened. I get in the apartment, you know, we stumble in, it's dark, we get into her bedroom, we flop on the bed. I sense there is a presence here, there's something else here. What is here? She turns on a nightlight, I see a pit bull. A full grown adult, rather muscular pit bull. I say, huh? Maybe it's time for Snuggles to go to bed. She says, no, 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 no. He lives here. He sleeps here. And immediately, two fears start competing for dominance in my mind. The first being, if I start having sex with this woman, and he thinks I'm killing his master, he will bite off my dick and balls. Like that, he will be gone. No more dick and balls for me. My second fear is that he does nothing at first. At first, he just watches. As I'm having sex with his master. And then suddenly he tries to fuck me from behind. He feels this is an introduction to a threesome. No, it's not, puppy. Go away. I'm like, the idle scenarios, I bounced. I was out of there. You know? I'm going to tell you something. I was, I was debating whether or not to tell you guys this, but, but, but if, you, if you can't relate, that's fine. You probably can't, but, but just if you can. Um, so sometimes, you know, I'll go home um, and I'm ready. I'm ready to masturbate, right? Because I'm a guy, I want to masturbate. I gotta get the demons out. So I'm there, I'm by myself, you know, and I have a couple hours, I don't have to do anything, and I have a lot of pent up sexual frustration. I'm ready to go. I put the porn on, bloop, it's like a dude getting deep throat, and woohoo, I'm ready to masturbate, and I'm wanking, 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 wanking. I'm wanking. And then I think my dead grandma, out of nowhere. What the fuck? Where did I wasn't even think? There goes half my boner right there, just all by itself. <laughs> Where did that come from? Now I look up the scene change. Now the guy has got a bunch over a couch, and now I just see a bunch of wax tan man ass. This is not very interesting. So I'm almost flaccid at this point. And then my cat jumps up on the couch. It's right next to me. She, 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 she's sensitive. She knew I thought about dead grandma. She wants to play with me. And naturally, as a cat in the wood, you start to stroke your kitty. Now I'm half heartedly waking. Not that into it. But I'm, I'm trying. I'm just hitting the kid. I'm just hitting the kid. I'm just half heartedly winking. Is that animal abuse? Do you think that's not rough? Is, is it? Is it like, it's not buttering a sheep, but is it like the people who French kiss their dog? Is it that bad? How bad is that? It's hard to tell. It's a gray area. Um, you know. Well, I'm going to close by giving you some good advice. You know, everyone here is Slack Collective, and we're young people, we're good looking, you know, it's easy to get laid. We're going to go out there tonight, we're going to drink a little bit, we meet somebody you like, take them home, be careful, okay? Bag it up every single time, it's important. No excuses, it's your responsibility.
bag it up. <laughs> you know, unless you can't come with a condom on, then don't. Why would you do that? That's the whole point. If you can't come with a condom on, don't wear one, okay? I just, is that not obvious? I, and look, you know, I think a lot of black people, some people think it's immoral that I thought without a condom on, but I've thought about this. I have a rock solid defense, okay? There are terrible things out there happening in the world, okay? There is international terrorism on a global scale. People who disagree with our way of life, they have a different ideology, and they will strike at any time to harm us. That's fucked up, okay? Global climate change. Waters will rise, people will be displaced, we'll have refugees from all over the world, the geography will change, crazy shit, there are drug resistant bacteria, antibiotics can't stop them, they will decimate populations in years to come, okay? So when the computers become self-aware, and the cyborgs fight the army, and the zombies fight the vampires, and Chuck Norris begins, and you see these people getting stuck their own school resistance movement, they won't matter that they think they want to want to sneeze, okay? Wow, I didn't want to be here. Thank you very much.